Yeah, I mean it's been up and down, and that's just the flows of any season. Um, and that, it doesn't matter if you're at the top or if you're at the bottom. Uh, um, you know, so like this at times. So um really proud of where we're starting to trend to and what we're looking at. I think we're playing um we're playing hard right now. Um uh, we're, we're executing a little bit better. Um, you know, probably not at our peak right now, but today's another opportunity to get to where we want to get to, especially in the playoffs. You open with the wings and now you end with them. And we're five months in, one game later. What's different that you notice about this today is the way yeah, I think, you know, from the beginning of the season to, to now, like all the adversity that we've been through is going to help us um, tonight and moving forward. I think, just like I said, just like I said to Megan, like there's going to be ups and downs within the season. Um, and there's going to be periods of growth and periods of taking a step backwards, but hopefully that propels you to take steps forward. And I think we've had the opportunity to do that throughout the season um, for stretches where we were. You know, win a game, lose a game, win two games, lose a game, and then seven game win streak, and then lose lose a couple, and then same thing back and forth um, to to now where we are now. So, you know, we, we definitely look different, and hopefully, um, what we've gone through and all the things that we face will help us um, move forward. What's your opinion, and also the player's opinion, is on teams resting players or getting players that kind of time off the end of the season they're already live or if they're out of the playoffs. Just what are your thoughts at that happening? So it's a personal it's a personal preference. Um you know at this point this point in the season like it's a it's a different season for us. Play 40 games, 36 games, those four games make a difference. There are minutes on bodies. Um whether or not you think so or not, I'm sure that the athletes can, can attest to that. There was just extra minutes on, on the body. Um, and so for some people, it's needed. You know what I mean? For some people, it's needed. So I get that and I understand that. Um, so for me, it's just pers personal preference from team to team and how they feel and what, what people think. But um, you, know, you also just have to be cautious of um, maybe too much rest and, and not having a good flow. But I do think that it may be needed for some players, depending on how they play all season and how you think you can. I know you have a bunch of close players. I agree with Coach I think that it really depends on the player. Like a lot of times, players are doing things that you know media and other people don't know about. But sometimes it is needed, especially if you don't play best basketball going into the playoffs. So it depends on the I know you guys don't want any drop off heading into the playoffs. That job done against the Washington Mystics. Now look to the same against the Wings. Um, could you just describe the magnitude and importance of this game that you guys have ahead of you guys? Yeah, our you know our mentality and our mindset is to go out and win every single game that we can. Um, I think you know we you know we go out and we compete. You know your hardest and you compete at your best. The, the basketball guys will take care of you for that. Thing, for that that energy, you know what I mean. So I think I'm the type of coach that just focuses on like we're gonna go out and compete for the best of our ability. It doesn't matter. We got this lock or that lock. Like we want to still be playing our our best basketball. And the only way that you can do that is through competition, through through games and playing and getting an opportunity to play your basketball. So. Tonight's another opportunity for us to do that. Um, not only that, we're at home in front of this fan base who supported us all year. We come out um, each and every night to see a show. And so they deserve to, to, to get the best product possible on the floor. So we're going to go out tonight. Um, we, you know, we scouted them just like we would normally with a one-day prep, prep, different things like that. So there's no let-offs for us. That's just, I think, who we are and who we want to be as a whole. Do you have an update on AD? 
Uh, I think AD will, will try to warm up and we'll see, see what happens. Yeah, I do have a question for you. Not basketball, it's a fair question. Uh, but one of my favorite things that I've noticed that you do in every three games. Like, <laughs> my question to you is better than for you or Nas. Nas, she's up there with me. <laughs> um, you know, she she got it for me. She got it for me. I'm an OG. We're going to jump to one question. Go ahead, Reagan. Hi there, this is Reagan Peebley and Ron Thulin with the Dallas broadcast. I just wanted to um, talk about Cheyenne. At the beginning of the season, you had a, sounded like a mantra, a mindset of by any means necessary, and your performances lately seem to reflect that. Can you just talk a little bit about that and where you're at right now at this point of the season? Um, I mean, that's just the mentality that I wanted to try to um, be with, you know, just – I want my team to feed off of my energy. So by any means necessary, I mean doing doing the ugly stuff, doing the stuff that not necessarily is acknowledged or noticed, but wins games. So I just try to focus on helping my team win. Um, I think coming into this game and going to the playoffs, I want to continue to keep that mentality. Um, and I think that'll just help us continue to get better. Thank you, Thank you.